Welcome to the Library Media Center's tutorial on creating citations for websites. In this tutorial, you will learn how to find the information needed to create a citation for a website, no matter if you are using MLA, APA, Chicago, or another citation style to create your bibliography or works cited list. Citing a website or web page might seem trickier than citing a book or article, but essentially you need the same information. The author or organization that created the web page, the title of the website, the title of the web page, the date of publication, and the URL. Let's create a citation for this web page, the ATU Fable Index, like the Dewey Decimal System, but with more ogres, from the website Atlas Obscura. First, let's find the title of the website and the title of the web page. Think of this like finding the title of a chapter within a book. The title of this website, Atlas Obscura, is located in the upper left corner of the page. You can also scroll all the way down to the bottom of a web page to find the title of the website as well as the copyright date. The web page title is the page header or article title, the ATU Fable Index, like the Dewey Decimal System, but with more ogres. Next, let's locate the author of this web page. In this case, that's the author of the article. Kara Giamo, who is given a byline just below the article title. An author's byline is often linked so that you can look at all of the work an author has produced for that website. If no author or creator is listed for a web page, this could be a page published by an organization, such as the Department of Licensing. In that case, you would include the organization in place of an author for that website. If you cannot locate an author or creator for a website, you can still create a citation. Refer to the citation style you're using for an example of how to do this correctly. The date of publication for this example is listed next to the author byline, just below the page title. If you are looking at a web page that does not have a post or article with a date, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the web page to the copyright date. The last item you will need for a citation is the URL of the web page, which is the full line of text in the browser bar. You're now ready to start creating citations for websites. If you have any questions or need additional support in creating citations, please contact the Library Media Center.